weekend, Stan and I have made our way down to Mini Water. Now, Mini Water is one of the places that I've grown up as a kid. Um, we always come camping down here. It's actually on the northern New South Wales coast of Grafton, kind of. Um, this spot is absolutely beautiful. So we've come down for our ultimate 4 by 4 workshop, and this is day one. We're ready to get the tracks. We've had some breakfast, we've packed up the cars, we've got some lunch and we're heading off down to Sandon Village today. So when we head out of the uh, north campground, you've got to turn right and you follow the dirt road for about a kilometre and a half to two k's and you'll come up to the entrance to the beach. So that's where we're going to pull up and we're going to let our tyres down. Alright, so we've just pulled up, we're going to let some air out of our tyres. Now the sand down here is actually really quite soft. Um, so we're going to let them down to about 20 psi today. We're currently at 50, so I don't really want to drive along the soft band at 50 pounds, so let's start dropping them down, hey? rocks so you can't drive any further that means you've finally come to sand it so when you pull up you'll see there'll be a little hill that'll shoot up with the track on it just to the left now that's the track that you have to go up to be able to get into the little sanded village it's pretty easy track can be pretty soft at the start um, just keep your rails pretty high you'll make it through just fine but there's one thing I do want to distress you do have to have a permit to drive on the beach down here so if you're staying in the national park or even just down here for a day trip, you still have to have a permit to be able to drive along the beach and through Sandon Village. If you come up to Sandon, you might want to pack some cold drinks and some lunch. This is, there's no shops here. It's literally just a little village. The locals even have to drive at least a half an hour drive to get some food. So when you come here, pack some lunch. Once you've made it into Sandon Village, you'll head down to the point of the Sandon River. And as you can see by me, this is exactly what it's all about. It's exactly why I love coming back here every single year. Over here you've got Broom's Head, so there's actually a track that runs through the state forest behind me that will actually take you straight through to Broom's Head. But man, check out the sights behind me. I hope to see you here next time.